all right guys model rocks 321 here welcome back to the channel we are up for another video this is launch day subscribe to the channel you know what we do here we build rockets launch rockets do a little bit of this a little bit of that i'm um, also check the website check the links below use my discount code over at sd's in underscore 321 get yourself a discount at sd's rockets and uh, we are all set today we're going to be putting up a couple Right here, set up where already we have the Trans Wing Super Glider, a super nice rocket by Estes released many years ago. You can find one of these, get one. Uh, we're gonna see how it performs today. So let's go, Smart Rocks 321. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. So we got the Trans Wing Super Glider going on a B62. Look for glider separation and all kind of stuff in a parachute. Uh, the booster to fall in the parachute. Here's here we go. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. There you go, glider's out, and glider is gliding, there he is. Glider's right here, yeah, it's doing nice circles, pretty sweet. Check him out, coming down, coming down. Yeah, nice glide, there he, uh, and he crashed and crashed into that bush, which is fine. That was on a B62, I probably could get away with a C63 out here on that one. Nice, so here we have booster, what we got here, what's going on with this? Uh, like a little zipper or something, a little melt. Something happened here. Something strange. Everything's good there. Motor, B62. Yeah. Glider's out, so we'll come back for that guy. But yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Not a whole lot of altitude, but it did what it was supposed to do. I can definitely send this up on a, a C63 like I've done in the past. So I've got your loaded, your uh, springs there loaded, rubber, rubber bands to make the action happen. But um, yeah, so pretty cool. Nice glide. Not a whole lot of altitude for the first launch but that was pretty cool i will take it so as usual subscribe to the channel and we will be right back with another launch the all right guys here we go up next we got the jupiter c going on a c53 this is a classic classic estes scale model putting up america's first satellite right there it's not spinning but you know so we will do our thing and um here we go all right so here we go we got the jupiter c going on a c53 should be a nice flight on this one and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. And we got delay and we got parachute out. Nice. Nice. Let me see if I can find him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is coming down right back over the range for the most part. Coming on home. Yeah. Good deal on the Jupiter C. Sending up America's first satellite. Touching down. There he is. Beautiful. My Rocks 321, guys. Go and hit that subscribe if you have not. We'll bring you more content like this. And catch you back at the range. All right, so approach the Jupiter C. Let's see what we got. Those fins are reinforced really well. Not expecting too much. Yeah, we're good there. We are good. I didn't touch them yet, but it should be good. Yeah, it's still smoking a little bit. Still smoking. Check out the smoke. Everything looks good up top. Parachute should be nice. Had enough wadding. Yeah, so there we go. That was a textbook right there. Nice, nice flight of the Jupiter C on a C53. This model rocket is three, two, one. Let's do it. All right, good friends, we are back. So next up, we're gonna be flying the Aerojet General Astro BD. This is a classic, classic rocket right here. Sounding rocket, American US scale sounding rocket. Scratch built, um, these are built from Peter Allway plans. Um, another one from that book, um, what's it called again? Scale Bash, where you buy existing kits and you can take them and you can make um, rockets like this. But this is mostly scratch. Um, the cones you can find, the whole body you can find. Decals you'll have to make on your own. but. We're gonna get this going. This one will be going on a D12-3, so it should be a really high flight. It's minimum diameter, you know, so expect something spectacular. Here we go, Model Rocks 321. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the Astro BD going on a D12-3. Parachute recovery. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Way up there. And there's ejection. Parachute is out and everything is attached. I can see. So we're good there. 
Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, he's up there going to drift for a little while. Might run into the sun issue, I'm not sure yet, but oh yeah, he's up there high. Yeah, he's up there pretty high. And like I said, the sun may become a problem, I'm not sure yet, but right now it's directly in my face, I'm just trying to stay on him. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. It's coming down. Nice flight on the D12-3 though. Here we go, he's heading down. There he is. Oh yeah, he's over there pretty good. Coming down, coming down. Touching down. Right down there, so there we go. Heading to go get him, the Astro BD is touched down. Smile Rocks 321. Subscribe. Let me go and recover the sky and I'll be right back with you. And here we go. As we approach the Astro BD, everything appears to be intact. Parachute, nose cone body, landing in this gravel, but all things are good. Oh, motor is gone. Wow, it kicked out that D12-3. That's surprising. Engine hook and everything is there. Wow. Surprised by that. A little surprised by that. Wow. Well, at least we got him back. That's um. That's a plus. I won't find that casing out here anywhere. Yeah, it's long gone. I mean, that ejection. Who knows? Wow. Surprised by that. But everything else is good from the Astro BD. So let's go on back and uh, stay tuned. Got another one coming up for you. So let's see what it goes. Let's see what happens. My Rock Three Two One. Peace. All right, guys, we are coming up on the last flight of the day. It is my four-bladed rotor rock. This is a custom scratch build. Um, I got four blades to rotate around. Had success on the last time I launched it out here. Um, we're going to give it another shot today. And see how it goes. Got it on a B6, too. Don't want to go too high up there. I just want to um, keep it, you know, within the range. So that's what we're going to do. It's my Rocks 321. Make sure you are already subscribed and hit the thumb up button and drop a comment. Here we go. Here we got my four-bladed rotor rock. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There you go. You always hear that whistling. And we got blades out. Upper blades or lower blades? I don't know. We got blades out. I don't know if all four are out or not. No, lower blades are not out for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but it's coming down right here at the range pretty much. So I'll take it. There we go. Oh, they were out. Oh, I just didn't see them. All four blades were out. So. Success. I just couldn't see them this time. I guess it's the glare and everything that's out here, but cool. That is cool. That is the second successful flight. All four blades were out. I just couldn't see them. Last time I was able to see them really good, but yeah. So there we go, guys. Model Rocks 321 here. Another successful launch of the four bladed Rotor Rock. Um, hopefully, this can make it to market one day. This is a really good. And fun design. I mean, everybody should have one of these. You don't. You don't see this out there. No, who's done this? Nobody has done this. So there we go. Smile Rocks three, two, one, and we will be back with another video. Stay tuned for the debriefing, and um, we'll keep you guys up to date. And the engine is in there. It was a B six two. Really nice. And I'm out. All right. Greetings everyone, it's Model Rockets 321. This is debriefing time. Today you witnessed a few flights. Um, pretty decent day overall, no real complaints. Um, to start the day out, I flew the Trans Wing Super Glider, an old SD's kit. These are not in production anymore, but they are really great. You got this booster here, and then you got this glider that transform, rubber band loaded. And once the, the booster detaches, these will flip out for you and you will have yourself a glider as you saw it perform pretty well, perform pretty well. I sent it up only on a B62. I should have used, I really should have used the C, C63 to give it some more altitude, which I've done in the past. Um, in that field, I could, I could possibly get away with that out there. Then you get your, here's, this is an old school one too, old school B62 single stage. So it went really well. I don't know what's going on with the zoom. There we go. Focus was out of focus. But yeah, B62 single stage spent casing. Um, booster fell. 
did have this issue. I don't know what happened. He ejected, but I don't know if it crumpled coming on the way out. It looked like that's looked like what could have happened possibly. Like it got a little crumpled there. Then the shroud line got stuck in that part. But yeah, it's like something needs to be repaired here now on the top end. But overall, you know, satisfactory launch on the Transwing. Swing Glider is always a great performer. Um, so you got the little pilot, he's inside there. So it was a good one, it's a good one. This is a classic one. If you see one, pick one of these up. They fly really well. Like I said, B62 should keep it pretty close to you. You can also, you know, go a little bit bigger. C63s um, perform well, I've shown on those. So that was the uh, first launch. So put this guy away and that was the first flight. And what did I fly next? Did I go with my, I think I went with, I'm not sure, I'm just gonna grab one. Well, next we're gonna um, do the Astro BD. So the Astro BD is a scale model, another US sounding rocket. You can see Aerojet, Aerojet General was the uh, corporation that was producing and flying these rockets. Right there, it says Astro BD. I'm having some trouble with this. Uh, oh, this is a new setup, so I may have to, yeah, there we go, about right there. It's kind of weird. Astro BD at 010. I guess they had, because they ran these with some kind of other configurations, but this rocket, they actually make a high power version if uh, Aerotech does. This is just a small uh, scratch built version of mine. It's about, what, 36 inches? This is pretty, it's pretty long. Pretty long rocket. I got it set up for a 24 millimeter. Yeah, you're gonna be able to see, it's just so, yeah, 24 millimeter mount, long E-motors. But I can, you can do a spacer and run a D12-3. That's what I flew in it. But yeah, really nice flying rocket. So that was the Astro VD. And we also have the Vintage Estes Jupiter C. These rockets usually run a decent price when you find them on eBay, but I had snagged one a good while ago um, and did it up, man. If uh, I got the, this is the one that had my rivets in there. So when these fins land, they should not be breaking at all. This Jupiter C is pretty nice. Um, I wish there's a way to make this so it spins. I know there's many ways. I just opted not to do it. I wish I did though. It would've been nice to just be able to spin it and it spins around. And then you can go launch it. That would have been cool. Put some kind of bearing system. Probably would have had to rebuild this whole thing. Really, just could put, put, could have been really uh, simple to do. But it's just the way Estes um, made it. So, But it's a nice flyer. Nice flying rocket. Super stable. Got those Mercury. It's built around a Mercury Redstone missile, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, so it was a great flyer. I sent it up on the, uh, I think it's a C63 or a C53. Which one? Yeah, C53. C53. Put it up there. It was a nice flight. Nice flight. Nice flight of that one now. Yeah, bottom getting those, getting those burns that I don't mind. Some people don't like that, but I don't mind. I don't mind. It's a rocket. It's a rocket. Yeah, so that's the C53, one of the super C's as they call them. So yeah, pretty nice. And last, but definitely not not least, my scratch built four bladed rotor rock. Um, got the two long blades up top and the two short ones on the bottom. I didn't see these at first. I didn't think they were out, but they were out the whole time. Um, they were out. These, so all four blades were out. I just cannot see those two. I can only see the top ones for some reason today. But yeah, very nice flying rocket performed. That's the second flight of this scratch build that performed to perfection. I mean, these rubber bands are falling off. Let me get and take these guys off. Save those on the side. Yeah, so you tie your thread. You can see the hole here where I go in right there. That whole thread go through. It holds all four of these blades down. When the ejection fires, it'll burn the thread and the springs pop into action. And you know the rest is history. It comes on down, spinning and spinning. But yeah, this was a um, this was a fun one to build and fly. Um, yeah, just a great just a great machine. I'm super I'm super proud of that one. I really. Really like it. I really like that a lot. Um, it was a great flying rocket. So hopefully we will see more of this. And it's a rocket that should really should be made. Um, it should be made. This should be available for everyone. Uh, if this can get manufactured, that would be fun. Skill level, <laughs> I don't know, skill level 3000. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, that was the flight for the day, guys. Thanks for joining this debriefing. See my ejection ports there. Yeah, super fun flying rocket. Let me shake this dust out of here. Normally, it's you get a lot of the engine ejection dust get caught up in here. You have all that stuff that falls on your floor, it falls everywhere. But yeah, super flying rocket, great rocket. Thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for um, sticking around. Thanks for being a subscriber. Share the channel around to your friends, anybody you know that's in the rockets. Share it with your kids. It's my rock three two one, and we are out. Check out this video right here.